Jabali Africa means rock of Africa. Jabali is a Swahili name for rock. And uh, basically to us, it was more a meaning of a foundation because the sound that we started with Jabali was, there was no group that played what we played. So, and uh, when you look at a rock in the African context, it's usually uh, a rock is something that associate, is associated with uh, the foundation. You know, even when you're building a house, you know, you have to reach the rock to build a house. So it was, it was an ideal name, and apart from that, it was also, uh, it, was, it also meant like rock as in the music, you know, the rock of Africa. So Jabali Africa, Jabali in Swahili rock. Africa meaning like the rock of Africa. What makes Jabali Africa different is basically uh, the two fundamentals that we have in our music. And uh, it's basically, we play original music that is based on the traditional African rhythms, rhythms but uh, we, uh, we, uh, we adapt them in a way to make it understandable to the people right now, you know? So, and uh, it's the same way we took traditional African instruments, the same way people take other modern instruments to create new music. You know, so we must see a traditional instrument that basically you find that people played certain songs on that, th that instrument. But what Jabali did, we came up with our original compositions, but based them on the same, same sounds. The same way our forefathers used the instrument to compose those songs, we use the same instruments to compose new songs. And the second fundamental is basically based on our vocal harmonies. You know, our harmonies are big, it's like a four-piece uh, harmony, you know. Uh, in most cases, you see a band like us, you see like some of them have two-piece harmonies. Sometimes you find that uh, maybe three-piece, but uh, our vocal is big, you know, our vocal is very big. When Jabali Africa started, we started off as a percussion band, you know, it was basically percussion and flute, you know, but uh, we, we, are the, we are one of the groups that harmonized the percussion, like you could find we have, a, we, we, we tuned some drums into different tones, you know, like the big bass drums, those are like our creation in the sense that we wanted the bass sound from the drums, you know, so we took the bubumbus, you know, and uh, designed bigger sizes of the drums just to get the bass sound. But uh, if you look, if you listen to the sound, the percussion sound, it's harmonized. We have tones that are higher, and we have tones that are lower, and we have like tones that are mid range. Our biggest musical influences have been from uh, the sounds of bands that were there before us. There was this band, Osibisa, which was uh, uh, top the British charts in the 70s. At that time, we were very young. We are guys who were born in the early 70s, you know? But uh, we used to hear this music on radio all the time. And even when us guys started, when us guys, when, the, when we started the band, 
a lot of the older musicians who listen to those bands were surprised like guys like us our age most of our people most of our age group was listening to different kind of music or listening to like a lot of the hip hop pop disco disco sounds but those guys were caught up with that OCBC sound the OCBC sound was the biggest influence in Jabali sound because they were very percussive and they were very high energy you know so that was a very big influence to us and uh Lady Smith Black Mambazo because their style of singing was basically the style of singing that you find in uh, uh from western part of Kenya too where we come from most of us you know so those two influences were big in the Jabali sound you know and um, I'll say also people like you Masekela and apart from that we were so we we used we listened to a lot of sounds from West Africa because my older brother Luke basically went to school with a lot of guys from West Africa and uh I used to bring in bring us a, a lot of interesting music you know that we used to listen to so uh I'll say the influence comes from basically the musicians who were there before us Scottsville Michigan <laughs> final series you know uh we just about to get on stage and uh, it's up uh, one the place is sold out as you can see We've been on the monitors, you can see the audience is seated, you know, and uh, it's on our tour, what do you call this tour? Peace and Love, Peace, Justice and Love Tour, 2008, Nairobi, Kenya, coming for you. Yeah, 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 you heard the maestro, maybe you didn't hear the maestro, you have to start late, why? Because there are too many people coming in. So I don't know what the fire code says, but it says only 300 people, I guess we're expecting more than 300 people, but well, that's African music. Roots music. It's supposed to start at 8 o'clock, but we're going to be given a heads up so everybody can come in. You know, in the West, they start things on time, not one second later. One second before. The man had to come in a suit and say, Gentlemen, I'll give you a heads up. <laughs> and tomorrow is Grand Rapids. Yes, Grand Rapids. Soul food. That's where we're going. Scottsdale. Performing at 2007-2008, you see Jabali right here. You see that? Tonight, at 8, 10. The next 20 minutes. Yeah, man. Yeah! Jabali! Oh, no, no. The song is called Champion of Love. come to a Jabali Africa show you expect to see uh, you expect to be educated number one number two is entertainment for all ages we are not basically we are not like a specifically a band that is geared to just one kind of crowd and uh, from our touring we've done a lot of children's festivals we've done a lot of uh, rock festivals 
done a lot of like uh, theaters, done colleges and universities. So basically, we are people who entertain all ages, you know. Uh, we have, and our music stands, it's, it's not only music for just to have fun, it also stands for other things. We have uh, music that is uh, politically motivated, you know, because uh, if you look at where we come from, still, there's a lot of things that are not being done right. And uh, we try to voice our opinion as artists to educate and also to just uh, drive some points across because music is a very powerful medium. At the Bali Africa show, you expect to be entertained, you expect to uh, get educated, you know, and uh, also sharing the parts of where we come from, like our culture, you know. When you look at like uh, the West, mostly Africa is portrayed in a certain way, you know. And as artists, sometimes we come in and try to also bring the other side of where we come from, you know. Because the only thing we see on TV is the famine, the hunger, you know, and all those disasters that are happening in Africa. That's not what you see in Africa, you know. So we try to bring our culture here. And uh, from our touring, which we've been doing for now almost 12, 13 years in the United States and all over the world, some parts of the Caribbean, it's like we've been entertaining, from, uh, we've been entertaining people from different ages and different walks of life. We've been featured in children's festivals. We happen to be on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, which is a children's program. And that's what gave us our biggest breakthrough. But apart from that, also we've done reggae festivals, rock festivals, you know. We've also done uh, a lot of colleges and universities. So basically, Jabali Africa has been performing in every, in, in a lot of different places that uh, you expect music to be, you know. And uh, also, if you look at our rebooking rate, we are constantly on the road. And uh, our rebooking rate is, is 98%. So it tells you definitely we have to do something good.
Jabali, Africa. Jabali means rock, rock of Africa. Culture, culture, culture. Culture TV. Culture, culture, culture. Culture TV. The African, the African, the African connection. The African, the African, the African connection.